It's the 25th of April, 2016, and it's time to go for a walk. Back from the walk, and Mom needs to go over to town to pick something up that she didn't before. Um, so I'm going to go with her, and we're going to eat. So, plans for today. I've got the wide open talk show at 2, and I think today I'm also going to deep clean the bathroom, because it needs it a little bit. But first, I'm going to take that shower that I normally take after my walk. But now that we've gotten home from town, now I can take it. The shower, and now I actually have to wait for the water to heat back up before I can clean the place. Ironic, huh? Pollution in China. <laughs> that's what I'm going to say. Number one query. Yeah, okay. that's what I'm going to say. Random pre-show push-up. This thing still tastes good. Section of the illegal transfers. Yeah, Swift is kind of like when you send a... Yeah, I've seen it before on, oh, yeah? on, on banks. Like, it, it's a... It, you Five episodes a week, and it's... And so I. I don't act like I don't have a Brian that I talk to all the time, man. Like, there's, there's, there's no excuse. I'm not going to let you off the hook. So, the iPod I'm using right now is my newest one. The old one got sent off. I gave it to Mom as usual, but when I had it, the charging port wasn't working. You want to guess what happened when she sent it off? They cleaned the thing up, sort of cleaned up the internals, and they realized there was nothing wrong with the stuff, so apparently it just needed cleaning. But honestly, Mom needed an upgrade to her iPod, too. Uh, whenever that thing's done charging because it needs a charge, I'm going to show her some stuff. Because she has been fascinated with some of the social media stuff I've been doing lately and wants to kind of give it a shot, and an iPod, best way to do that. That looks glorious, but you know what's even more glorious? where it came from. Came from this. Mom got a Mother's Day present early. A new grill. Well, and something else. Also got a new freezer, which yes, is in the spare room. You try finding room around here. <laughs> Guys, Nielsen has found us. I don't know if they heard me criticizing or what, but eh, here it is. This should be interesting. Updating this thing before I wipe everything off seemed a bit more prudent considering it had already downloaded it for. Got my home battery with me because, ironically enough, my actual iPod is getting ready to die on me and I still want to document all this. That and, and I'm wearing this like it's measuring tape. Uh, that and, come on, I gotta do something while I'm waiting for this update to finish. So mom fell for the AVG trap. You know, in the free version, how it tries to get you to do the 30-day upgrade, and then after that, it'll pest you about it. So I'm doing that for two. So two rounds of tech support in one night. And done at the exact same time. Multitasking! It's just sitting here now. I may end up, since I did the other part, just leaving it be and then dealing with it tomorrow. We decided it. And, yeah, we're going to deal with the actual iPod tomorrow. There's no big rush for it anyway. I was just getting ready to go to bed, and I'll be danged if Michael Hyatt didn't jump on Periscope and say, No, Sam, you need to stay up a little bit longer. <laughs> it wasn't too long, so it wasn't that bad. Um, but he's come up with a little assessment thing for a person's platform that I'm going to give a shot. Because the longer I have been laid off, the more I've been able to just sit and think about my platform as a whole. Things I could be doing while I have this free time before another job ends up showing up, whether it's a new one or the same one if I get called back. Point is, I almost feel like I've been slacking a bit and maybe becoming complacent? Yeah, I think that's the word for it. I am now consistently creating content every week, regardless of if it's a Let's Play every week or a podcast. And now I want to know what my next step is. I've been doing this for five years. I know how to do it. Now I just need to. I need to take that next step. Go to that next level. Not be afraid of it. Because quite frankly, I've been a little bit afraid of it. Because the last time we got a lot of attention, I almost gave this whole thing up. So I suppose that that in the back of my mind is still stabbing at me, and it honestly doesn't need to. 
Because, again, that was a bunch of hurt people that were just projecting their pain onto us, and that was no problem. But I thought it was more of a problem than it actually was, and, yeah, it it almost did me in. If you want some more specifics on that, by the way, if you look up Samuel's Thoughts episode number 41, I went into that in detail. Now, I suppose ever since that incident happened... I've been gun-shy, and I need to stop being gun-shy. And now I'm starting to take the steps to do that um, with this thing that I'm going to give a shot and something I'm doing tomorrow. That's for tomorrow. I think I'm going to go to bed a bit early because I still need some rest to recover, and I'll need to be mentally sharp for what I am doing tomorrow. 